For the last couple of weeks, I've gone back to doing yoga most mornings. It's a great way to stretch and meditate by keeping your mind on the physical practice as best you can. All yoga is a wonderful way to enhance your winging skill and speed your progress. Yet I found myself adding things that would help not only stretch the muscles that were sore from winging, but also some combinations that give you some positive muscle memory for my preferred stance and techniques. I also added poses to practice balancing with some wing movements. This resulted in the 20 minute guided yoga presented here. I refer to the winging posture and winging stance, which I've described in my technique blog on my website. To move through this yoga practice more easily, please read at least the first blog post, basic winging posture, and ideally the second one too. The links are in the description. This yoga is designed to help you build muscle memory for the stance and control techniques that I teach. Start at the head of your mat and raise your arms up over your head, stretch behind you, give it a nice back bend, and then come forward, bend down towards touching your toes, relax down, and then straighten up to a flat back. Lower back down and come to your plank position, lowering slowly down and up to your first upward facing dog. Now tuck your toes under and swing down into a downward facing dog. Feel the stretch in your calves. Bring your right foot up. Straight leg. And then bring it under you and come into your first winging stance with making the L with your left foot being the front foot. Your back foot is perpendicular, front foot parallel to the mat. And just use your arms to simulate winging for a moment. Now we're going to do a stretch. Bring your forward arm underneath the back arm and twist, stretching with your leg straight at first and then bend your back leg and get a feel for winging toe side and how that body needs to stretch over to the other side when you're winging toe side. Bring your arms out to the sides and then come back down to the head of your mat with your hands to a plank position again and press down into another downward facing dog. Walk up to the head of your mat, lower down to touch your toes and then raise your arms up overhead, back bend, swing your arms back down, bring them back up overhead and lower down to touch your toes and come back into your plank. Lower slowly down and to an upward facing dog. Tuck your toes under, come back to a down facing dog. Using your left leg, bend your leg up. Straighten your leg up behind you. And we're going to come into our second winging stance. The right foot's the forward foot. The right arm straight. The left arm is bending. We're simulating winging heel side now. And now we're going to do a twist for the toe side. Bring your front arm underneath the back arm. And twist to your right as far as you can with the legs straight to start. And 
bend your back leg and twist even further. You can see how you can twist further into the other side of your body, like your toe side winging when you bend your back leg. Okay, bring your arms out to the side, overhead, I'm just stretching our shoulders a little bit, coming back to the head of the mat with our hands, back to a plank position again, lower slowly down, and up to upward facing dog, and another downward facing dog, kind of our home position here. Hold your downward facing dog. Now walk up to the head of your mat. Stretch your arms up overhead and stretch backwards. Bring your arms down. Stretch your arms up overhead, back bend. Bring your hands down to your toes. Come up with a straight back and now back down to a plank again. Lower slowly down, push up to upward facing dog, push down to a downward facing dog, hold that, get the calf stretch again, bring your right leg up straight behind you and swing it forward for our next winging stance. Make your nice L with the right foot being the front foot. And now we're going to twist to our right and simulate winging in the toe side direction. Now the left arm is the front arm. The back arm is the right arm and you're keeping your left arm straight, bending your right arm in and out with the hand towards the shoulder and we can simulate handling a gust, straightening the back arm, raising the right arm, forward arm up to dump with even more power, and just move around however you're. We're going to stretch out our forward side of our bodies by reaching down with the back arm and reaching over our heads with the right arm and stretching out that front side of the body. Rotate around, stretch your shoulders out a little bit with your, swing your arms around a little bit, and then come back down to the head of your mat for another plank. Lower your body down slowly, come up to an upward facing dog, and for another downward facing dog. Continuing to link our winging yoga with down dogs. Now bring your left leg up and straight behind you, your right leg up and straight behind you. I think I forgot which leg we're on. <laughs> now we're going to make the left foot the front foot for our next simulated toe side winging. The right foot is the back foot making the nice L foot stance and twist to your left bringing the right arm is the front arm now, back arm is the left arm, keeping the front arm straight, bending your back arm in and out as if you're winging toe side, simulating some gusts, straightening the back arm, raising up the front arm with a nice straight front arm, so all gets your muscle memory for the proper foot stance and body posture for winging. Now you're done with your simulation. We're gonna turn your shoulders aligned with your hips, stretch out your left side by bringing your left arm up over your head and pulling the right arm down towards the right foot. Stretch out your left side of your body. Now we can come back to the head of our mat, standing at the head of the mat. Just shake it out, anything that you need to for your shoulders, and come up again. 
bend down towards the toes, flat back, back to our plank, lower slowly down, and up to our upper facing dog, and our downward facing dog. Okay, so now we're going to go with our stance, a wide foot stance facing to the side of our mat, just to stretch out a little bit. Our inner leg, come down to the mat with our hands and back up. Now we're going to do a balancing move that will help with our forward and backwards balance on each foot. We're putting all our weight on our left foot with our left leg bent slightly and raising our front foot up as much as you can and continue to hold your balance. We'll bring it up to the front of, the, of you and then behind you. In front of you and behind you. We're using our arms out to the side to help balance. Now this is really great for being very aware of your ankle and the toe to heel pressure, which is of course key. We're doing our right foot now with our weight on our right foot, swinging the left foot forward of us and then behind of us, back and forth, with our arms out still. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, lower your feet back down, both your feet back down on the mat. Stretch your arms up. A little back bend here. Arms out to the side. Just limbering up our shoulder muscles a lot with all these stretches up and down. Go to your head of your mat, bring your arms up, stretch up, back down to your toes again, up with a flat back, back to your plank, Lower slowly down. Now we're going to put our left arm out to a nice 90 degree angle from our bodies and with our facing down. And then we're going to put our right hand next to our face. Our right leg is going up and then over behind us. This is giving another twist, but also really good for the shoulder muscles and the pec to stretch your left side of your upper body. Now bring your right leg back straight and then lay flat on your chest again. Bring your right arm out, we'll do the other side. Right arm is perpendicular to the body, your left leg goes up above you and your left leg goes over behind you to touch the ground or as far as you can twist. Hold that couple of breaths. Release that pose. Flip over onto your back. Put your arms straight out perpendicular from your body and bring the right leg up and bring it over to the left side. This stretches out the shoulders, the left shoulder muscles and gives us another twist. Now come back to your leg down and bring the other leg up and over to the right side. Release that twist and come flat again. Now I'm just crossing my arms over and squeezing the shoulders a little bit, giving them a little massage just to help get those sore shoulder muscles from the winging a little bit of love. Now let's swing ourselves up. I'm rolling up the end of my mat a little bit to create a thicker cushioning for my knee. 
because next we're going to stretch the major muscles of our legs. This is the runner's stretch. Put your right knee on the rolled up mat, bring your left foot forward so that you can make a 90 degree angle with the left leg. Use your left hand to hold on to the right ankle and the right arm comes up towards the sky and look up towards the right hand as you stretch the right quadricep muscle of your leg. Hold that for about 10 breaths. You can count your breaths and, and depending on how fast you breathe, you'll know how many breaths you're on this side when I tell you to switch. Now we're switching. Bring your left leg onto the rolled up mat, your right leg forward so that you make a 90 degree angle with the right leg. Your right hand comes back to grab the left ankle and the left hand comes up. Stretching that left quadricep. Again, you count the same number of breaths you counted last time. And if in this case, you can just go by the guidance for holding, holding that stretch. It's good to stretch major muscles for as long as you're patient to do so. <laughs> I'm just doing a, a 10 breath cycle here. Now we're going to switch to a stretch that could be quite challenging, but you can always use blocks and modify any of these moves to what you need to. I'm bringing myself into a split where the left leg is back, the right leg is forward, the left knee is on the rolled up mat, the right heel is as far forward as I can comfortably get it. Try to keep your hips square and then bring your hands down. Now, the modification would be do a more modest split and use blocks underneath your hands or just stay on your fingertips as you come over the extended leg. And this is a, a stretch that can help with the hamstring. Now, that was a count of 10 again. Well, I swing around and stretch the inside of the same right leg by bringing my body perpendicular to the mat and just for a shorter time, three or four breaths, stretch the inside of the leg. Now we're going to do the other side. Put the right knee on the rolled up mat, bring the left leg forward to a split. Stretch the left hamstring. As best you can, whatever modifications you've found. Even a just a gentle, all these stretches should feel gentle. Don't, don't push yourself and hurt yourself. Just stretch the muscle as much as it will, and then just hold it where you're comfortable. So another count of 10 breaths, and then rotate the upper body perpendicular to the mat to stretch the inside of that same leg. Coming as low as you can for three or four breaths on this side. Okay, come up out of that and roll our mat back out flat. Go into Shavasana now, the name for, traditional name for the corpse pose, the resting pose. And I'm tightening up the muscles in my legs and then relaxing, tightening the muscles in my buttocks, then relaxing, tightening the muscles in my abdomen, then relaxing, tightening the chest muscles, then relaxing, and then the arms. And finally, I tighten up my face by doing a lion's pose, which is take a deep breath and then open your mouth and go, with your hands opened up on either side of your face to tense your face up and then relax your whole body. 
and just relax with gratitude for your practice and your beautiful body. Let's come back to a seated posture and end our practice with a prayer position, a little bow, namaste. Thank you for your practice.